He didn't even set the helicopter down. He flew it the whole time. And when they pulled me up in the litter, the sled was dead even with the floor of the helicopter. When they pulled me in, and I told the guy, I told the guy, thank you. You know, I thanked him for rescuing me. And I asked him where we were going, and it was Bozeman. And then they gave me morphine and knocked me out for about 30 minutes. And the, last, the next thing I saw was circle around Bozeman Deaconess with the, the uh, water tank. And I knew I was home. And uh, that was the first time I was really able to, like, you know, recognize um, what had happened and got to the hospital. And doctors didn't know why I was alive. Um, I had lost over half my blood supply. I had nine units of blood. Um, my kidneys were shutting down, and my leg was hanging out. Had I had it again, we would have set from the day one a very concrete that if one person disagrees with the choice of the group, then that's a group decision. And really trying to erase the stoke of the day and recognizing that the enjoyment of backcountry skiing is surrounded by the people you share it with and the experience of being out there. And it's very little attributed to how deep the turns were, how steep the turns were, how long the turns were. I mean, that all adds to it, but when it comes down to it, I've yet to be on a backcountry day, regardless of big turns or little turns, that I didn't come back fulfilled with enjoyment of being just out there. Go. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Way big Blake. That was the best shot there. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Lower. Stick back. <laughs> Oh. Matt. So numbers. Matt, tell me what you really think. Dude, I'm speechless. That was the blow. Deep. You don't want to fall into the trap of thinking you're any smarter than nature or that you're any more capable than the other guy of not triggering an avalanche. I mean, that's it comes down to it doesn't matter how much education we had, there's still the same opportunity. The same failure plane was there. The slide was triggered by pushing the terrain up to get a dozen more turns. Um, if we had stayed in the more heavily treed aspects, you know, we, we would have been in a safer situation. But again, it was that bigger lines, more stoke, and the false idea that to ski bigger, more aggressive was how we weighed a successful trip. My recovery was uh, 17 days in the hospital, um, I believe approaching 10 surgeries. Um, I had the amputation on January 13th in the evening. Um, pretty severe pain after that for a while, but went home and was actually back at work on the 26th of January. Um, and uh, went and saw doctors every day. Um, ultimately, on uh, April 18th, I got my first prosthetic leg. Oh, yeah. Well, I think a tennis shoe will even feel even better. Check it out. It's not bad for your first steps, huh? Mm -hmm. No kidding. No crutches. You're doing awesome, love. Wow. Sarah just said, suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Sam? Pretty dang wild. <laughs> you know, they said my, my case was textbook worst case scenario. It's the kind of stuff you see in a medical journal. Um, and then the flip side is I'm my recuperation and adaptation to my prosthetic is textbook best case scenario. And they gave me the clean bill of health, go out, push it hard. Losing Blake was, uh, I mean, it's a huge loss. I don't think I've even fully experienced what it means to lose Blake because he was the best friend. Not having him by my side has been a, a big loss. I know it was really tough for one of my friends when, because we had lost gear, so he had to go up and get skins out of Blake's pack, you know, and to go up the next day and see your friend with six inches of snow on him.
the biggest thing at the moment was his wife was pregnant with their first child, expecting to have him in February, and this was his last hurrah with the boys. Um, so I remember once we stabilized me in the yurt, and uh, immediately the focus switched to his wife, Addie, and their baby, and making sure everything we did kept her health in mind. I mean, there was we could not jeopardize her health in this child. To go from, in the matter of seconds, to have your life turned upside down, from, man, I'm best day skiing ever, but I'm nuked, to, oh my goodness, my best friend just died, and quite frankly, <laughs> I'm not looking too good at the moment either. It was a, a daunting thing to undertake, for sure. The first real emotional opportunity to, to focus on Blake was when I was in the emergency room, and one of my best friends that was supposed to be on the trip that couldn't make it came in, and he grabbed my hand, and all I said is, I'm sorry we lost him. And I said he was a charger. Don't risk more than is necessary to assure this is a repeatable function. And um, Obviously, we proved making some poor decisions. It's not a guarantee. Do you start with... Whoever doesn't feel comfortable, that's what we're going to decide. Here's the three things that we're going to do before we even consider skiing the slope and follow through on those. I mean, almost like a checklist. I mean, I've, at this point, I've thought about just, you know, creating a laminated card that says, did you check these eight things? And what was your follow through? And when it all adds up, after checking all eight things, do you still feel comfortable skiing the slope? And if that's the case, then do it. But if there's anything on that card that makes you not feel comfortable, man, save it for another day, you know? Come back in the spring and ski the line when it's solid. Ski it two years from now when it's solid. Tour on, you know? Go find a low-angle slope that you can make turns with friends or put in a jump on a low-angle slope and have a fun day hucking into powder, you know? I mean, there's just a multitude of things you can do and still have just as much enjoyment. But it's just set forth a pattern to succeed. Don't put yourself in a situation where all of a sudden you're flirting with the 50-50. If everything goes right, it's going to be great. If everything doesn't go quite right, it could be really bad. Uh, New Year's Addy and Junior and I'll see you in a bit.